Alright, so hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to my Zodiac Signs as Student series. Okay, so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Virgo student as we describe three subjects that I personally think can be associated with the sign of Virgo. Now this video can resonate for you if you happen to have any personal planets within the sign of Virgo, but it is mostly directed towards those of you who have your Mercury within the sign of Virgo, and also if you have the sign of Virgo ruling your third house as well. Also, I would like to mention that even if you're not a student anymore, if you're not at school anymore, then I still recommend watching this video because it's these types of things that I discuss in today's video that can actually apply to your everyday life too. Now before we do get started, if you would like to know more information all about the sign of Gemini, so looking at Gemini through the houses, also looking at Mercury throughout the houses, the Mercury signs, and also the third house within astrology, then I have created a Gemini season slash Gemini archetype ebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a link to that ebook in the description box below so that you can pick up your copy today. So with all those introductions out of the way, Mercury in Virgo slash Virgo ruling the third house. Let's do this. Right, so the very first subject that I chose for you, Virgo, is biology. So yes, you may be interested in science overall, but I chose biology most specifically um, because, Virgo, you are associated with the likes of problem solving and critical faculties. Therefore, you can be highly anecdotal analytical when it comes to your learning style and it's the study of science that actually enhances these skills but more specifically yes looking at biology well biology is a key subject for careers within the likes of healthcare medicine as well as jobs involved with plants or animals and it's all of these things that are strongly associated with your sign. So small animals, small pets, ruled over the sixth house within astrology and you are the sixth house ruler. And also when it comes to healthcare, when it comes to medicine, well, these things are really ruled over by you as well. So naturally it is through the subject of biology that you can maybe get into the likes of nursing, dentistry, zoology and genetics, genetic research and so on. Therefore, it's really the likes of or the study of biology that can open you up to so many career opportunities, Virgo. And the thing about this is that, well, biologists, they are able to use their knowledge as a way to come up with solutions, to come up with solutions. So uh, looking at maybe helping to stop spread disease, um, also looking at tracking down possible natural resources, and also just really improving the overall health of people and animals and so through biology you may be really interested in these types of things Virgo. Basically biology deals with understanding how animals and organisms work as well as understanding um, what things make us sick but also what things can improve our health as well and so it is these types of things that might just really interest you when it comes to studying biology. Plus, you can also use your substantial, amazing observation skills and abilities as a way to observe the interdependence of living things through the likes of biology, as well as observing how things network together with much complexity. And so naturally, it is all these types of um, areas that can encourage you, Virgo, to appreciate the diversity of life on Earth and you are an earth sign. So you're very much grounded and you're very much curious about how things work and how things operate, but you also aim to put those things that you learn about to good use as well. 
to practical use. And it is through this subject of biology that you can then apply it to helping you solve problems within your everyday life. For example, Virgo, when it comes to the likes of hygiene, hygiene being ruled by your sign within astrology, well, it's biology that helps mankind develop an understanding of germs and their effects. And it's these discoveries that can result in improvements when it comes to your everyday routine, such as brushing your teeth, washing your hands, bathing, flushing the toilet and these things can also extend to the likes of female sanitary wear as well as food preservation so really looking at how you store your food and it's all of these different areas that I have mentioned so far that are very much associated with your sign Virgo. Furthermore, biology can also help you gain knowledge when it comes to the likes of pharmaceuticals and also cosmetics. So what are the ingredients and what are the different chemicals that are located within these things and how do these then correlate with your overall health and well-being? Some things to learn from here though, Virgo, well, there is a tendency of you scrutinizing every piece of information that you learn as a way to determine its essential purpose but yet this can also lead to you being too skeptical and a bit demanding towards the evidence that is being presented to you. And so you might find yourself on this continuous search for answers and solutions without even taking a break. So it really is important for you Virgo to learn how to step back from your research and from your studies and to just shut off your urge to just keep busy and stay busy all the time. You might use your logic as a way to completely dismiss attending to other possibilities. So with that being said, Virgo, it's really a good idea for you to recharge your mental batteries. <laughs> Second subject that I chose for your sign, Virgo, is computing or computer science in brackets ICT. So yeah, information, computer technology might be a subject that you are highly interested in, but it's computing that involves the likes of writing codes and coming up with creative technological solutions. So again, these types of things might be highly appealing to you because it is through this study that you can put your analytical and your problem solving skills to good use. For example, you can identify a particular problem and come up with a technological solution to address it. And you can also then uh, solve complex problems in a systematic and logical way. Basically, computing is a subject that involves taking a concept and then turning it into a reality. And this is very Virgo energy. Virgo energy is able to take information, dissect the information, and then have a systematic way of being able to come up with solutions with that information, but also being able to deliver it in a practical, grounded way as well, so that other people can benefit, and obviously so that Virgo can benefit too. Now, like I said in the Gemini video, maybe some of you Virgos aren't really interested in the likes of computing because, well, computing also involves maths. And learning maths can be a subject that's just often viewed as boring, really dry, really bland. But at the same time, Computing and maths go hand in hand. So you might be that type of Virgo who enjoys computing and the maths that comes with it. Then again, you may be a Virgo who enjoys maths but you don't enjoy computing. <laughs> Though still, maths can be a subject that you can perform really well in due to how systematic maths is and how it involves formulas and equations. But either way, either way Virgo, computing is a subject that can help you remain resilient, determined, and also humble in your approach, even in spite of many potential failures that you can experience along the way. It's ultimately a subject that gets you thinking critically as you use many different methodologies to get the job done. Some things to learn here though, um, well, there is a tendency of you being quite fussy 
and wanting to poke at things that quite frankly just you need to leave them alone. Yes, you are a mutable sign and studying the likes of computing does require you to be adaptable and this can help you improve your skill set. But at the same time, Virgo, you might have this mentality of wanting to always improve and mend something that you can often lose sight of the bigger picture. You can become so completely fixated on one small, tiny detail that it blocks your wider vision. So it would be a good idea for you to become aware of this because by you latching onto certain things, you can stifle your overall performance and progression. And the third and final subject that I chose for you, Virgo, is crafts. Now, according to a study that I found, which I'm going to put the source in the description box, but craft skills consist of fine motor, technical and cognitive skills, such as perception and problem solving. Furthermore, craft skills present a know-how combined with knowledge and thinking so knowing how to do something is really important when it comes to crafts so this is really about the craft maker knowing what to do how to do it and why and so the way i see this personally is that i view this as very virgo because virgo is connected with refining the craft it's to do with craftsmanship craftsmanship it's to do with figuring out why something works and how something works and then what to do in order to make something work and apparently craft skills they go through three phases so there's the perception there's the practice and there's the interpretation so with that the word that really stood out to me here is practice and that's something that is also strongly associated with your sign Virgo of this whole concept of practice makes perfect but it's just practicing overall. You understand that in order to get better at something, to improve on your skills, it is going to need you to continuously keep practicing. And crafts is also a great subject that can be used as a way for children to reflect upon the things that they are creating, where they can actually really evaluate their own performance. And that is also something that's very Virgo. So being able to reflect on what you're already creating, being able to adjust, being able to see those little errors or see what you can improve along the way. And crafts is also a great way to encourage students to follow instructions where they can analyze their physical materials and their tools that can be used, okay? So um, looking at this step-by-step -step process, this sort of how-to guide, that's very, very Virgo. So looking at those different steps that need to be taken in order to create something, but then also from that analyzing the different materials and the tools that you need, also very Virgo. <laughs> I just find that with Virgo types, Virgo types have the tendency of enjoying the whole process of making things from scratch um, and then also just using the materials and the tools that they have at their disposal to make those things. So for example, you might be that type of Virgo who enjoys painting little small figurines um, or you might be that type of Virgo who enjoys making candles. You may also be that type of Virgo who really enjoys making your own essential oils. Or you might be that type of Virgo who enjoys creating different meal plans from scratch where it's really focused on nutrition. Whatever the case may be, Virgo, you might possess a curiosity towards producing something that is holistic, natural, or workable. Plus, crafts is also a subject that can certainly enhance your focus and your concentration as well, where you complete a craft project from start to finish, 
and it also requires much patience on your part too here. So it's really important um, for you to learn this step-by-step -step process with what you're creating and to follow it in the correct order as well. So such as waiting for the paint to dry, waiting for the glue to dry, these things are going to require patience from you and it's also going to require you to follow something in a said order. And crafts can also enhance your fine motor skills as well, such as the likes of cutting with scissors. So doing little things with your hands, it's very, very Virgo. So you find that with Gemini and Virgo types, they like to do things using their hands, but Virgo, you're more specifically directed towards those little tiny things that you can do that really require much of your particular eye. All of those tiny steps that really are necessary for the bigger picture. But remember, just try not to get so caught up on those little steps that you also block yourself away from the larger vision. Now some things to learn here with this Virgo, well, there is a tendency of you being a bit of a worrier, okay? You may worry so much about things where you can be really fussy, like I said, you can be super picky, and when you get into these mental states, it can even lead towards you becoming quite anxious. So for example, you might worry that your answer in class is not going to be the correct answer. Or you might worry that it's not going to be enough. It's just, why why say that answer anyway? It's just not going to be enough to the overall theme. You might also get pretty fussy over your own craftsmanship when you start comparing what you create against what another student is creating or working on. And then from this, you can spiral down into feeling like your work is just not good enough. And so from there, you may think that everybody else is judging you based upon your work as well. You might even define yourself based upon how much or how little you actually know about a particular subject and, those, and then you still might think that everybody else is judging you based upon how much or how little you do know. And this in itself, Virgo, can lead you into some rather harsh places within your mind. So please be aware of these tendencies because you can learn how to piece together new thoughts in your mind. Thoughts that actually enhance and magnify and see the strengths in your work, the strengths in your creations, rather than only seeing the flaws or what you think needs fixed desperately. You, Virgo, have what it takes to overcome your worrisome and your critical thoughts and you can do this by detaching from expecting perfection and by you no longer justifying the fact that, hey, you're human, right? You're just, you're human like everybody else. <laughs> well, you can also then develop a healthier relationship with other people as well. Okay then Cosmic Warriors, so that concludes my video on the Virgo student. Now if you happen to have your Mercury within the sign of Virgo or if you have Virgo ruling your third house then it would be good to know what you thought of the video in the comment section because it's good to hear about personal experiences. Now with all that being said then, thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing and of course if you would like to see more videos from myself and you have not yet subscribed then go right ahead and click the subscribe button and I will be back with another video very very soon. Bye!